No, I don't think it should be mandatory. I wouldn't demand to be mandatory, but I would do everything in my power. It's like I don't think masks have to be made mandatory nationwide. So here's the thing. We, are, we cannot require someone to be vaccinated. That's just not what we can do. It is a matter of privacy to know who is or who isn't. You've been patient. But our patience is wearing thin, and your refusal has cost all of us. All school officials trying to do the right thing by our children. I'll always be on your side. My plan also takes on elected officials and states that are undermining you. If they'll not help, these governors won't help us beat the pandemic. I'll use my power as president to get them out of the way. And all school officials trying to do the right thing by our children. I'll always be on your side. This is a president who has decided if it's going to be war, it's going to be war against the vaccine and any governors who stand in his way. The president's now saying if you don't get vaccinated, not only are you putting the country at risk, but you yourself are going to face dire consequences. So if you're someone who thinks this isn't going to touch your life, President Biden is saying it's getting personal. I'm coming for you. And so here's the deal as we move into the second year or third year. Someone's going to lose out. Someone's going to have to stay home. And let it be the people who would rather take horse dewormer. Your book, but I want to say something about well, horse we, dewormer first. I definitely want to talk about your book. <laughs> yeah, but um, I mean, never before have I wanted to talk about horse dewormer, but I feel <laughs> like it now. Um, so ivermectin, you know, the, the drug that shall not be named. Sure, it works against worms and horses and other organisms, but it's literally understood. It's, you know, it's on the WHO's list of essential medicines and has been for years. And it's literally understood to have antibacterial and antiviral qualities and works against lots of other RNA viruses like Zika and dengue and yellow fever. So I think that he should approach this with an iron fist. And I think that the overwhelming majority of the country is going to be deeply appreciative of somebody standing up at long last and saying to the small minority of nuts in this country, enough. And those governors that stand in the way, I think it was very clear from the president's tone today that uh, he will run over them. And just, and just real quickly, um, there was a study that came out of Israel about natural immunity. And basically the headline was that natural immunity provides a lot of protection, even better than the vaccines alone. I get calls all the time. People say, I've already had COVID, I'm protected. And now the study says maybe even more protected than the vaccine alone. Should they also get the vaccine? How do you make the case to them? 
You know, that's a really good point, Sanjay. I don't have a really firm answer for you on that. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and let me know what you think in the comments section. Don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell icon so you'll be notified about all my new daily content.